everybody, I'm back, Mama Dawn. I know I didn't post last week, but I've been sick and, and start off with the flu, then turn into bronchitis. I'm telling you guys, I thought I was living at Stephen King the stand for a minute, but I said, oh Lord Jesus, we all gonna die. But anyway, but I'm glad it's over with, I'm feeling better, so I decided to, to make a recipe that was easy, guys, because I'm still feeling a little bit under the weather. See, people always trying to call me. Jamie, I'm making a video, hold on a minute. Anyway. So, so today we're to girl. Shush. Today you all were gonna. Hey, 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 mom, give me a shout out. Hey, everybody. <laughs> y'all, that's one of my daughters that live in Arizona. She want to give a shout out. Go ahead, Jasmine, give a shout out. Okay, you shouting out, Jasmine? Okay. Anyway. Okay, y'all. Anyways, so today we're gonna be making pecan toffee oatmeal cookies. So we have here. One and a half cups of a flour, a teaspoon of baking soda, three four teaspoons of cinnamon, three four teaspoon kosher salt. We have a cup of butter, obviously. Uh, we have a cup of brown sugar, and then we got a half a cup of white sugar, two large eggs, three cups of oatmeal, and we have a cup of toffee, which is what I. Use the heat, you guys. And um, we have pe I mean, pecans, but I have them in the oven right now, toasting right now. So that's a half a cup toasting, you guys. So we're gonna get all this together. What I'm gonna do is mix all the dry ingredients in here. Oh, and, and y'all, we can't forget our extract. And um, so we're gonna do is mix all the dry ingredients, obviously, together, you know? We're gonna mix that all together, guys, with the cinnamon, Beautiful, beautiful, and just mix this up together. Okay, now our next thing we're gonna do is, we're going to cream our cup of butter and our brown sugar and our white sugar in here, and I'll be right back. As we're back, we um we had mixed the, the brown sugar and the white sugar and the, and the butter for about two minutes. Now I'm adding a teaspoon of extract. We still have my daughter Jasmine from Arizona on the phone. Jasmine, say hi to everybody. Hey, y'all, you know, she's just yelling at her daughter before trying this video. Oh, my God. Anyway, you guys, so we're going to stir that up in here. And then when we um, mix this up, we're going to do the eggs one at a time. We already have them cracked in here. One at a time. And you just want to do it until you get it mixed up in there. And then we'll add our second one. And you guys, I'm feeling a whole lot better, but it's just like, I tell my daughter, I said, we got to do an easy, easy video because I just don't feel like doing a meal meal, you know? So what we're going to do is go ahead and scrape down the sides. Okay, you guys, what we're going to do is go ahead and scrape down the sides so we can get all that deliciousness up in there, you know? Shoot, I don't think I made, like, I don't think I made desserts in about three weeks. Have I already? Nope. No, I said, um... And you guys, those pecans are still in the oven toasting. They should be done soon, so I just want to let you know. Toast your, toast your pecans. If you don't want pecans in there, you don't have to put pecans in there. You know, not everybody's a nut. But I like pecans, so hey, you know. Do you. We doing us. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and stir this back up. Okay. Then we're going to add in our flour. Do a little bit at a time. I don't want to over mix this, guys. You know? Wait a minute. It's getting hot, you guys. See? We're going to add it a little bit at a time. Okay. That's my husband over there. Still coughing. And don't worry about it, you guys. We're not giving these away to people because, you know, we don't want to get nobody sick. We'll be eating up, to be honest, we can't even hardly taste nothing. <laughs> so I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to taste these. But I love toffee and I love pecans, so, so you can't get any better than that besides butter, remember? So we're gonna go ahead and stir that up. Okay, and we'll be right back. Okay, you guys, now we're gonna add in our oatmeal. Love oatmeal, guys. Let's stir that up a little bit. Oh, I'll put that in there. 
Then we're gonna get our little toffee bites. Put all this delicious together, guys. This is one of the recipes that for one time I didn't brown my butter. Usually most of my cookies, I brown the butter first because it gets, gives it this out of this. Oh, that's my oven going off. Because <laughs> um, it gives it this out of this to taste world. But for these, we don't really have to do that. And then you see how we got this all mixed together, you guys? Then we have our roasted pecans. Just gonna add them in. Now, what I like to do, I'm just, just going to give it a couple of stirs. What I like to do is put my cookie dough in the refrigerator for an hour to get it all to melt back up, you know, get the butter back cold. So, plus I don't like for my cookies to spread either, so they have less chance of spreading if it's like a cold, just like when you do a cake, you want to frost a cold cake because a warm cake is really hard to frost. So same, you know, for the cookies, you want them to, you know, be able to get back firm up again and then they won't spread out so much. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and um, put this in the refrigerator for an hour and then we'll come back and we'll go and then, you know, put them on our baking tray and bake them. Okay, you guys, we're back. So they've been in the refrigerator for about an hour. I'm just using my little ice cream scooper here, you guys. You can use anything. You can use a, a spoon. And, I mean, you can make them as big as you want or small. I just like having them all about the uni about the same size, so that's why I use ice cream scooper. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and put all the um, cookies down here, and they'll cook for about 10 to 12 minutes, depending on. I just have to check and see because I haven't made these in a long time. But just remember, you guys, with these cookies here, you don't have to have the, uh, the pecans in them. You do not. You don't have to have the toffee. I just like this stuff in here. You know, give it a, a crunch. You know, just something, no more texture. So, but it's totally up to you. So you can take this, this recipe here, add raisins if you want to. I mean, I like raisins, but I don't know. I don't know, I just really don't like raisins in my cookies. Like, you never hear me eating no oatmeal raisin cookies, which I don't know why, because I do like raisins, but I just wouldn't eat it. So, you just do it, you know, do how, you know, put the ingredients that you want, you know what I mean? So I'm all about experiment. If you do something different, hey, let me know. And you know, let us all know, because we might want to try it too, it might be awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and put these in the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. And then we'll be back. So guys, these are the finished cookies here. They're really moist, delicious. My husband loves them. And, and he doesn't even like oatmeal. So try this recipe out. Let me know how you like it. Y'all have a blessed day.